Kampala Capital City Authority is to deploy resident management teams that will comprise of a market master or abattoir master and three support staff. The team will be charged with the day-to-day -day running of the markets. And the new leadership in its directive should not be composed of any of the previous leaders that had been holding leadership in the market. This directive came because of vast outcry by market vendors and those selling in the markets and those operating the abattoirs stating that they as vendors and sellers are being charged multiple fees and taxation leading to loss of profit. Minister Mongi also disclosed that vendors and traders in the market will no longer be charged multiple fees. Going forward, one type of charge per annum and one other fee will be allowed for the three different classes of businesses in the market. So in the market, if you have a lockup, you will only pay 144000 per annum. So you can divide per month. If you're paying 144 per annum, you can see it is very cheap if you pay on a monthly basis. If you have a stall, you will only pay 132,000 per annum. If you have a pitch, a pitch are these people who will go and probably put a table and, and pitch and then and sell uh, on, on their uh, pitches, you will pay only 78,000 500 per annum. Interim elections for the transitional leadership committees shall be conducted in the 16 markets and one abattoir in which government has a stake. And these are St. Balukudembe, Nakasero, Chiseka, Usafi, Kamocha, Bukoto, Busega, Kasubi, Nakawa, Bukolobi, Chiswa, Luzira, Chinawataka. Namuongo 1 and 2 and Wandegia markets and the city abattoir. We have eight zones in uh, St. Balukudembe, they are undertaking also service to the old leadership, notifying them that from today onwards, they are no longer managing the market and that new leadership is to be put in place that shall manage that market. I told you that uh, city uh, abattoir, elections are ongoing. The changes in market management follows wrangles and accusations of old market leaders overcharging vendors to enrich themselves. Dennis Igor for UBC News.